in this video, we will follow the stick down with our back fingers while we downstroke and absorb the rebounding energy of the stick so it can't return back up. We'll be seeking the most relaxed position in our fingers to do this without applying any extra energy to the stick. We're gonna begin in a closed position down low. In this exercise, we're gonna play eight loud notes and return down to this position. So that'll be seven full strokes and then one downstroke. When we do this, we'll be playing full strokes in the open position. And for that last downstroke, we're gonna absorb with the back fingers by following the stick down. So when it hits the surface and tries to rebound back up, the fingers are gonna be in the way. We're gonna be looking for the most relaxed position here that keeps the stick flat after the downstroke. We're gonna to try to apply no additional energy. To get to this open position, we're gonna prep the eighth note before. So we'll count our eighth notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep. And then we'll play our full strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close. I'm gonna set a metronome to about 160 beats per minute. This is our eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, close. You can also identify your stroke motions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep, full stroke. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, prep, full stroke. Down. Practice this quite a few times so that you feel comfortable opening and closing your fingers and following the stick down. The two big mistakes that you can make here are to either not use enough finger pressure so the stick ends up in an angle when you're finished, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. And now we're up here because my back fingers aren't closed. Or to apply too much finger pressure or to accelerate the fingers down faster than the stick, which will cause sort of a whack sound at the bottom, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can hear how the pitch comes up and you hear sort of a slap sound on the bottom because I snapped my fingers shut too much. So the idea is that all eight of these notes are gonna sound the same. Practice this in a mirror quite a few times until you can hear that all these notes are sounding the same and you can see that the stick remains flat after you finish playing.